In this lecture, we now want to talk about a widely discussed topic, and this is the data marts. We want to understand how they fit in our layers, in our data warehouse, and how we should understand and work with them in practice. So we already know that we have the staging layer and our core layer. And usually this core layer is serving as our access layer. But sometimes if we are in a very large company and our data warehouse is built for many, many different use cases, and we can use different tools with this data warehouse and all of the user groups, all of the departments, all of the regions, they are all using the same data warehouse. And this can be sometimes a little bit complicated then. And therefore sometimes there's an additional layer added on top of this core layer. And these are the data marts. So this additional layer of the data marts is actually nothing but a subset of our data warehouse, meaning our core layer. And the data in these data marts is modeled in a dimensional way. So we have fact tables in the middle and dimension tables around these fact tables. But don't worry, we'll talk about that later on as well. And note also that if our core layer is serving as our access layer, which is possible, sometimes we don't need the data marts, then also in this core layer, the data can be modeled into dimensions and facts. But also what is possible that since these data marts are really built for a specific use case, this is what makes them a data mart, we can also sometimes further aggregate the data so that it serves really our use case. But now the question is, why do we actually use these data marts? What are the real benefits of these data marts? The first and most important one is that it increases the usability because it's now much easier to just focus on the relevant data. We don't need to work with all of these tables in the database and be overwhelmed by it. Imagine the business users that are oftentimes not technical users, they don't want to be overwhelmed and this usability is very important for the acceptance of our data warehouse or our data mart. And therefore a data mart can play a huge role in that. But also the data mart can be used to increase the performance. This is because the data is modeled in a dimensional way and we can use specific technology for that. So for example, we can use in-memory databases that have very fast query performance or we can also build so-called cubes that we will also talk about later on. So with this increased performance, again, we have better usability and better acceptance. So this is the main reason why we want to use data marts. But now what are the use cases in practice when we want to use such data marts? We've already talked about, and this is one of the very important use cases, we can have different tools using our data warehouse. So for example, we can have data visualization with Power BI. And then it's very good if the data is in, in memory databases. So this is good for the performance and what gives very good results for Power BI. But for other tools, for example, we want to do some predictive analytics with some other tools, then we don't need to have the data stored in a in memory database. And therefore we can have another data mart, maybe also with different data and a different database type. So this is the first use case, but then also it can be different departments with different use cases. So we have the sales team and we have the finance team, we have the marketing team and all of that is stored in our core, but it's not relevant for all of the use cases and all of the departments. But also another use case can be that we have just different data marts for different regions. Overall, we can just summarize that a data mart is built for different use cases, whether it be different tools, different departments or different regions. And this is what we should remember about the data marts. I know that this is such a widely discussed and very controversially discussed topic sometimes that I just want to note here that we shouldn't get too hung up with it. So 
Sometimes the data mart, for example, is described as a small scale data warehouse. But then there are other people that really argue with that and say you cannot understand it like this. This is wrong for data marts. But my point, if this helps you with understanding, then it is okay. Because you should not get hung up too much, in my opinion, with this terminology, but you should instead just focus on the business problem that is in front of you. And if you think that this data mart can be of a benefit for you, then you can use it. And it's not so important to just have this terminology and discuss and argue about that. So also the same goes for the question if you should use a data mart or if you should just use the data warehouse. And again, this depends on how centralized your core is or your data warehouse is and how many use cases you have. So again, I wouldn't make it up to the philosophical discussion, but just practically focus on the business problem. If this is a good solution in your case, you should absolutely use a data mart. So this is what I want to bring across. Just don't get hung up too much with the terminology, but just focus on the business problem. And with that, data marts can help you a lot.